yell. This is so exciting. <laughs> I got a one wheel pint. We need, we need to change this up. This is all kinds of wonky. I'm just in a hurry. I just want to open the thing. Hey, awesome people. Ellie Awesome here. And welcome to my one wheel pint unboxing. Woo! I'm going to get straight into the unboxing, but I do have a couple of important tips. Firstly, I'm Australian and I ordered from the US from the actual one wheel store by Future Motion. There were a lot of challenges with doing that. I wish I just got it in Australia, but one wheel and Future Motion have been really great, great customer support. But anyway, just note that if you're wanting to buy in your Aussie. Here we go. Oh, jeez, it's a wild time. So guys, a one wheel is a self-balancing board. It's kind of like a segue within a sort of skateboardy, snowboardy fashion. So it's very cool. Life is about to get more awesome. Are you joking? This, this looks, this, this, what? Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a heavy boy. I knew it would be. Oh! <laughs> this is dope. Okay, I'm gonna read these guides after. Bye! Thank you though, these look comprehensive. <laughs> Just hit myself in the chin. <laughs> As you can see, I ordered the sand color. I was gonna go for just the plain black, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna live life on the edge and change it up. And I think it looks mint. What else is in the box? All right, a manual. Oh, a bunch of stickers. As I was saying, I ordered this from One Wheel overseas. I got it on their Black Friday sales. And I thought, like, saving myself a bunch of money, this is gonna be sick. I didn't realize that you needed to register for a, um, like, a license to have a motorized small road vehicle here in Australia. I'm from Queensland, so you can actually have a license for these. Apparently, in like Western Australia, on the uh, on the west coast, you can't even have them. But luckily for me, wow, what are these? A bunch of a bunch of business cards. That is smart. That's a good business move. I would do that too, I like it. Anyway, as I was saying, so basically you need this permit. I didn't realize, it doesn't say anything about it on the website and you know, maybe it's a silly me, but it, whatever, it happened. Luckily there's like a wiki link on how to get the permit and get it sorted and I'll link that below in case you need it. That wiki link will basically run you through what you need to do and what documents you'll need to upload to prove that this is allowed into Australia, which, <laughs> What? It cost me $50 to get that permit thing. And the permit took three weeks to come to me. So that's my bad. And apparently this permit thing can take up to 30 days to be accepted and approved. So mine took three weeks. Um, and then One Wheel took another week post me saying, hey, I've got the approval. Because what they did is they put my order on hold. Because if this comes into the country without a permit and it arrives into Australia, as soon as it lands, you've got five days to supply the permit or they'll send it back and you ship it at your expense. Me, I would have had to pay to ship it back and I wouldn't have received the bloody thing. I don't even know if I would have gotten it. I honestly don't even know the logistics from there. It sounds like a nightmare. Anyway, through this process, I was DMing the One Wheel people on Instagram and I gotta say, they were so helpful and so friendly. I don't know if that's because I have a verified tick on Instagram and that is not a humble brag, that's just the truth. Um, because yeah, they were really good about it. Felt very reassured. And I've basically just been waiting for this little nugget to come to me in the mail. Another delightful surprise about being an Australian and ordering one of these here in Australia is you have to pay uh, import fees and GST on the purchase, which was $317. So after my discount of, I don't know, three to $500 for my Black Friday sale, this ended up being the same price as one I could have got from like an Australian surf store or skate store that they've imported for me, paid for all the GST charges and all the rigmarole. I should have just paid more money. I was trying to save money and time. Or definitely the money part. Oh, look, it was a time. But hey, she here. Oh, another thing that I luckily knew would happen is that now I've got a US charger. So, uh... <laughs> This is useless to me. And I think though, luckily, I have one of these cables. It's this, by the way. In case you need to get prepped for yourself. Got one. So this was from an old camera charger and they also usually air on your TV, so you're welcome. While prepping for this amazing delivery, I also joined some One Wheel uh, groups. I have been delving deep into the culture. I've noticed that it's fairly male skewed. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh, I, feel, I feel a bit lonely. 
if there are any uh, other ladies out there that are one wheel in a way, especially in Australia, hit me up. Luckily my mate Michael, he is a uh, one wheeler on his pint and that is what inspired me to get one because it just is so fun. So I better read the instructions because I really want to just jump on it and show you guys how it works. But I also know from being a part of the one wheel community <laughs> as prep that uh, you need to wear a helmet and safety gear all the time. It's just too, it's just not worth the risk. And it's like going snowboarding or something, you gotta gear up. So I'm down with that and I'm prepped, I'm, I'm really ready. Oh yeah, the awesome thing about One Wheel is it has an app and you can track your distance and where you go and your speed and, and a couple other different things. And I don't even know a lot about the app but I'm really excited to delve into it. Do I do it for you guys? Look, I'm willing to fall over for you, but uh, only one time, <laughs> because I know this would be very frowned upon in the One Wheel community. But, oh, I'm going to fall. Nah. Nah, she's bailing. <laughs> I remember how, how difficult it was to get on the first time I did with my mate, and you kind of do need someone to help you on for the first couple times. I picked it up really quickly, and I'm really excited to get into it and learn how to shred. Just shred up. It feels a lot like you're snowboarding, and I've never actually been snowboarding. Have been skiing, so tiny bit similar of a feeling. It's just like this smooth gliding, and and I can skate. Just you know, I can balance and go down the street and stuff. So it, it's it's like a mesh between them because you can just carve it up. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels. It also feels like you're floating and you're on a hoverboard. It's the first thing that I felt like this is something out of the future in my lifetime. Okay, that's a lie. Touch screens were still pretty epic when they came out. For me, I had a Nokia 3310, so believe it or not, I was shook. Get pumped for vids, and if you want to follow me on the gram, you better believe I'll be posting about this. It's uh, Ellie Awesome. Hit me up with some, uh, you know, some helpful tips in the comments below. Please be nice. Also, keep being you, keep being awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.